welcome back to Sugar Mama TV. I am Kanna Campbell. Before we launch into today's quite fabulous frugal fashion video, I want to do a really quick shout out to my normal everyday Instagram account at Kanna Campbell Official. This is where I publish different additional content for you around minimalism, motherhood, capsule wardrobe fashion, beauty, and other lifestyle topics. So it's additional and different content for you. So make sure you're following me there. And of course, make sure you're also following me on Sugar Mama TV for all of your financially motivating and educational content from a financial planner myself. So during the month of frugal February, I decided to explore frugal fashion through thrifting. And who is the best person to reach out to when it comes to thrifting and fashion? Well, the answer is Faye Delante. She's an amazing fashion influencer who puts together the most incredible outfits. She's so creative and so talented and also such a beautiful fit person, both physically and her heart and soul and aura. Anyway, Faye Delante very kindly met up with me at the Salvation Army in Rockdale. We went for a little walk around and she actually picked out five designer inspired outfits for you guys to win. That's right, you can win one of these five outfits which I'm just about to share with you. Now these outfits, listen to this, they're inspired by Balenciaga, Celine, Dolce & Gabbana, Chanel and Burberry. How amazing is that? And each of these outfits cost less than $100. So to go in the draw to win one of these five designer inspired outfits, it's so easy. Number one, just make sure you're subscribed to this YouTube channel, which you should be anyway. Number two, make sure you're following me at Canna Campbell Official because this is where you'll see the IGTV video go live where you enter it. Number three, make sure you're following Fatal Ante. Number four, when you see the IGTV video go live, sharing with you the outfits again, make sure you tag at least one friend and then I want you to name which of the five outfits you like the most. You will go in the draw to then win that particular outfit. So you might like the Balenciaga or the Chanel. Make sure you tag a friend and make sure you write which one you love the most. And then Faye and I will work out who wins and we will let you know and we will post it off to you. Now, before I share with you one of these five outfits, and I have to say, I was so tempted to keep one or maybe two of these outfits for myself, but I won't because they're for you to win. I want to share with you some of the tips that Faye gave me for thrifting. She had some fantastic ideas and approaches and hacks that she uses to help find the most amazing pieces and the most amazing bargains. Hack number one is to actually hit the men's department. And I was a little bit skeptical at first, but within a couple of minutes, magic happened. So I actually found Faye a beautiful navy blue YSL men's blazer. Then about 20 minutes later, she actually found me a black Hugo Boss men's blazer. This has barely been worn. In fact, I actually don't even think it's been worn at all. This does need to be taken in. It just needs to be taken in on the arms to slim them down a little bit and a little bit off the shoulders. But guess how much this Hugo Boss blazer cost me? $15. Faye's cost a little bit more. I think it was because it was more obvious that it was a YSL because it had the YSL buttons. Hers cost $30. So within like literally half an hour of being in the store, we already found incredible bargains. Now, the Hugo Boss blazer costs about two and a half thousand dollars. A YSL one probably would have been very similar in the price range. So immediately we are saving thousands straight away. Second tip from Faye is to have a really good dressmaker or seamstress. Having things like this altered, you want to make sure that they get it right and they get it right the first time because obviously getting things altered can add up over time. So have someone that you know is very good and charges reasonable prices and knows exactly what they're doing. They know where to take it in, to where to slim it in, where to give you more shape. And this is something really helpful because if you come across something that looks a little bit worn or a little bit tired, by having a good seamstress, they'll know how to bring back some life. The third hack from Faye is to look for pieces with designer accents or signature looks. So for example, if you love Chanel, when you're looking for a pre-loved handbag, try and look for things that you would traditionally see on a Chanel handbag, such as the crisscross stitching or the gold hardware with leather weaved through the strap. This is a very traditional Chanel look. She also said a great thing to do is to try and buy handbags with some hardware on it, shiny gold or shiny silver hardware, because it does give it a chic, sharp look that can really elevate your outfit and make it look so much more polished. Another example of an accent is bamboo. Gucci traditionally used to put a lot of bamboo on the hardware of their handbags, like on the straps, 
on the clasps. This is a traditional Gucci look. So if you find a handbag that's got this type of accent, it can very easily look and feel like a Gucci one at a fraction of the price tag. Number four, and this is something I completely agree with and I do in my own fashion, and that is to accessorize. Have fun accessorizing. Use brooches, use scarves, Style things in different ways. Faye is actually the person who taught me how to do the cuff, even though apparently I've been doing it all wrong. But you just by changing the sleeves, rolling things up to the elbow, or just showing the beautiful like billow of a sleeve of a blouse on top of a blazer can really elevate the look and just take it from being something that's quite basic and plain to something that's coming quite sharp, but also very feminine at the same time. Hack number five, which was brilliant, there's nothing worse than when you're at the markets or you're at, say, you know, you know, Salvation Army or St. Vincent's, like trying to find things and it's busy and there's nowhere to change or there's a, you know, a really long queue for the changing room. This is a great hack to work out if items of clothing are going to fit you. So she said, you take a pair of jeans that you're thinking of buying and you don't have time to try them on. She said, just simply do this. If you can fit your elbow and your hand like this, these will fit you. She said, the other option is you put them around your neck like this. And again, if they can touch, they should fit you okay. And I'll tell you what, these fit absolutely perfectly. So it does work. Idea number six from Hefe is to go to these stores if you can during the week or on a weekend where it's pouring with rain because it won't be that busy. There's nothing worse than when you're excited about going shopping and there's so many people in your way grabbing things that you wanted to go and have a look at or things you'd love to try on because of course it's, you know, there's not like there's multiple sizes and ranges there available. Hack number seven from Faye, and I was a little bit worried about this one because I was like, where are you taking me, Faye? And she said the sleepwear department. I was like, uh-oh, probably is not my cup of tea. I was proved wrong instantly. She actually showed me there are actually some really beautiful camisoles and women's nightgowns in the sleepwear department. And she said you can use these for fantastic layering pieces. You can layer them under blazers, under coats, tuck them with jeans, tuck them with a skirt, you know, have a just slightly bit of the lace exposed. Fantastic classic pieces that don't take up too much space in your wardrobe, might I add, and really do, again, elevate a basic outfit and give it that soft, feminine, luxurious, sexy feel. Hack number eight, and that is buttons. I don't really touched on buttons before with the seamstress, but buttons are incredible. You can find an amazing collection of unique and vintage buttons on the secondhand economy and also at your local haberdashery store. Changing the buttons gives an outfit or a jacket or a piece a whole new lease of life. Hack number nine is to wear items differently. Faye said like, if you find a skirt, remember it's just simply fabric, that's all it is. Experiment with it, try and wear it as a dress, try and wear it off the shoulder, try and wear it you know, in different unique ways, like pull it up, tuck it in, layer it. You don't have to take one item and wear it in the way that we've been told to wear it. Get creative and have fun. Go with a list, but also be very open to what you might find and discover. And a classic example were these blazers. Neither Faye nor I were in the market for blazers. We were not thinking about it. We literally accidentally discovered them and they were incredible bargains. I'm now going to share with you these five outfits. So make sure you're subscribed to this YouTube channel. You're following me on Canna Campbell Official and of course at Faye Delante. And the moment you see my IGTV video go live, which will be any minute now, you can go in the draw to win one of these five outfits. All right, everyone. Ciao.